What's going on guys, Vital Syntax here, and in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to set up a multiplayer server for Cube World, which currently supports up to three other players, so for a total of four people. So the first thing you want to do is after you've installed the game, go to your computer, your Windows Drive, go to your program files, and look for Cube World, and then we're going to scroll down and look for two files, the server.cfg and the server.exe. So first we're going to open up the server.cfg, do right click, open with, choose notepad, and go ahead and enter a seed for your world. It can be anything, any number. So I'm just going to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and go ahead and save that. And this is the number that the server will use to choose a random location to spawn the world. And then you're going to find the server.exe file, double click that. And as long as you have this CMD window open and the server.exe running, people should be able to connect to your server. Now the way they connect to your server is by going to, first you have to give them their, your IP address. So you're going to go to Google and type in my IP and your IP will be listed here. I'm going to black mine out so that you guys don't see my public IP, but you can give this number to anybody that you're, you want to play with and they should be able to enter that in their game and I'll show you how to do that next. So you're going to send them that number and then I'm going to go ahead and launch my copy of Cube World here. And they're going to choose a character and at the bottom right say connect to server and they're going to enter the IP address, whatever it was, in this server address and then press connect. Now for you on the other hand, you don't have to um, type in the IP address, you can just simply type in localhost and then press connect. And that will spawn you in to the world and you can start playing from there. And this supports up to four people. I'm going to go ahead and quit the game. Now in some cases, depending on how your firewall, your router and your ISP is set up, you may not be able to have people join until you do what's called port forwarding. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that next. So the way you want to do that is open up a new command prompt by pressing the start button and go typing in cmd, press enter. You're going to type in ip config, press enter. It's going to give you a bunch of information. Now with that window open, also open up a web browser and in your URL bar you're going to enter the number that's listed as the default gateway, which in my case is 192.168.1.254. So I'm going to enter that in and press enter and I'm going to go ahead and this will take you to your router's login page and depending on what router or modem you're using it's going to be different for everybody so you're going to have to figure out what the login credentials are hopefully you're the one who set up the router if not then maybe look on the box maybe contact the person did set it up or the the provider your service provider that set it up for you or sometimes doing a simple google search for the make and model of your router can uh, yield you the login credential. So I'm going to go ahead and log in here with the admin account. And it's going to be different for everybody, but in my case with my router, I'm going to go to the advanced tab and go to um, IP networking and then click on virtual servers. That's going to list all of my uh, forwarded ports. And you can see I already have them set up here, but I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and I have three of them. And honestly, it doesn't really matter, but I'm going to go ahead and add another one. So we're going to press add or press new, whatever. And go ahead and select custom server name, enter whatever, it doesn't really matter. You could type in cube world, you could type in whatever you want. And then for server IP address, this is the IP address of the machine on your network, on your local network that's running the server. So you can find that by looking once again in the CMD window at IPv4 address, which in my case is 192.168.1.66. So I'm going to go ahead and enter 66 here. And next we need to set up the protocol, which is going to be TCP slash UDP and external ports and external port ends to be one, two, three, four, five, which are the ports that Cube World uses. So one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. And that's gonna automatically enter it into our internal ports as well. And you don't need to put, put a remote IP in there and then just go press save and apply. I'm not gonna do that because I already did it three times. Uh, and then you should have uh, listed in your virtual servers your Cube World. Now you should be able to have people connect to your server if the ports are forwarded. If it does, still doesn't work, then what you might want to try is have somebody else host the server and then see if they can connect, if you can connect to the server. If not, then see if they can forward their ports. And then if all else fails, there's a, a, a tutorial, I'll put a link in the description to a program called Himachi, which does virtual 
uh, private networks onto your computer and allows you to connect with other people through a login uh, system. I, I would personally would recommend trying to do it without it first and trying to do the port 40 method, but if all else fails, then check out that tutorial for a Himachi setup. Anyway, thanks for watching the video. If you guys found it helpful, feel free to leave a like or a comment. And if you guys have any questions, I'll try and do my best to answer them down in the comments down below. And if you're new, feel free to subscribe because I'll be doing more tutorials in the near future on the game as well as a bunch of other stuff. So anyway, thanks for watching the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next one.